walking into a newly constructed or recently renovated home or building will often comment about the new home or office smell. While this new smell is pleasant to some and may invoke feelings of a clean and fresh indoor environment, usually it actually means the person is being exposed to high levels of volatile organic compounds. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency describes VOCs as organic chemical compounds whose composition makes it possible for them to evaporate under normal indoor atmospheric conditions of temperature and pressure. A few examples of VOCs include formaldehyde, toluene, and acetone. New construction and recently renovated buildings typically have these strong odors due to off-gassing from new building materials, finishes, and furnishings. These may include treated or engineered wood products, carpets, flooring, cabinets, paints, stains, varnishes, caulking, adhesives, and other materials. Elevated levels of some VOCs are easily detected through smell, while others may be undetectable without the use of air monitoring instruments or specialized air tests. The ability of these chemical compounds to cause health effects varies greatly from those that are highly toxic or known carcinogens to those with no known health effects. Eye and respiratory tract irritation, headaches, and dizziness are common exposure complaints. As with other pollutants, the extent and nature of any health effects depend on many factors, including the individual, chemical compound, level of exposure, and length of time exposed. VOC levels in the indoor air will decrease over time, but just how long it will take depends on a number of factors. VOCs can also be reintroduced into the indoor environment from the use of some common materials, including many cleaning supplies, air fresheners, pesticides, and aerosol sprays. These are just a few things to know about exposure to VOCs associated with new construction. To learn more about this or other indoor air quality, occupational, environmental, health, or safety issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.